Nigeria's Niger Delta. The Niger Delta have no no rest. It has been conflict, violence, human rights violations, killings, and series of deaths. You all are aware of the situation of the Kensarowewa. Shell has polluted our rivers. Shell has taken our land. Shell has destroyed our livelihood. We say it is time that the world stand up against Shell. That they cannot continue in their violence against people, in their violence against communities. Shell has no place in Nigeria. Shell has no place in these negotiations. Right next door, we've got Shell sponsoring an event on our energy future. So we're now going to calmly, very peacefully, go over to their side event and ask them why they're in here and try and walk through with them. So if you'll please follow us in a calm way, we're now going to go to the side event of Shell and see if we can interact. Oh, we're finished, we're finished. The action's finished. Association Pavilion, where they're trying to present themselves as part of a climate solution. In fact, the event they're about to hold is with Shell, one of the biggest polluters in the world, the World Coal Association, who's trying to promote coal as a solution to climate change, and the Global Carbon Capture and Storage Institute. This event is also sponsored by Chevron. Now, these are not players we want to see in our climate solutions and our climate policy, so we're here to ask them to be politely please leave, um, and we don't want to see fossil fuels anywhere near these tools. Can you talk about some of the people that are taking part in this action? So this is people from the Niger Delta, from the tar sands in Canada, are people being affected in Peru, in Colombia. So people from all around the world, whether you're north or south, have solidarity and are standing against these destructive corporations and the impacts they're having. They're not in the interest of any of us, so why should they be here? And the last thing, the last thing to say is we also have uh, Lord Nicholas Stern, who's supposed to be speaking at this event. Um, he's a, a well-known climate economist and respected, producing the, the Stern Review in 2006. And yet here he is lending his legitimacy to such an event of false solutions. And I'm sure he doesn't agree with such a fossil fuel-driven future, but yet he's putting his name to this. And I think both him and the UNFCCC have to realize that they're lending their legitimacy to solutions that are only going to lead to a dangerous and extreme global warming, which is not something that any of us want. My name is Godwin Ojo, Environmental Rights Action Friends of the Earth Nigeria. We are here to condemn the activities of Shell in COP20. Shell is promoting dirty energy as part of the energy future of the world. The people you see here gathered, civil society groups, they say no, it is time for energy transformation of the world from dirty energy, from nuclear, from coal, from oil, to that of renewable energy, in line with the African position of renewable energy feeding tariffs. This is why we are here. Share, in addition, has caused monumental havoc in the Niger Delta. They have destroyed our rivers, they have destroyed our livelihood. They have destroyed all that the people depend on. So they, they make profit without concern for local people. So it is time they, they they are no longer part of the economy of Nigeria. They are no longer part of the energy future of the world. So this is why we are pushing for renewable energy and to say Shell has no part in COP20 or any summit whatsoever.